Welcome back, and somehow I just missed this guy getting shot. I guess slot so death is um, rather literal. Oh well, that means we'd better be careful if we want to play around with that thing. It would however be nice to uh, get another beer. This time we need to pay for it though. Yo, how about a refill? Hold on, Mac, I'll get you when I can. So, what's your beef, Junior? Want another drink? Yes, we do. Here you go. So, like I said before, it was actually a hint that you need to uh, drink three drinks. Ah, yes, that hits the spot. Just one more should do it. Yo, how about a refill? I'm busy, wait your turn. You don't look busy to me. So, what's your beef, Junior? Want another drink? Sure. Here you go. As you sip another of the odd brews, you overhear someone at the bar speaking. There I was, cruising for Sector EG when I spot this blip on the scanner. We need to make a note of this, Sector EG. So, I had to warn it, you see, and, and right there in front of me sits a Deltor. It's just sitting there. My heart starts hyperwarping on me. I figure my milliseconds are numbered. All I can think of doing is getting my craft out of there. So I'm reaching for the throttle. All of a sudden, there's this incredible flash of light, you see, and just like that, this little planetoid explodes into a ball of fire. I, I tell you, I've never seen anything like it. I mauled the throttle and, and got out of there quick, you bet. Uh-oh, sounds like the Sarians are using the star generator. It's the Deltor, the ship that attacked us, in case you didn't know. Um, so now we know where it is, it's in Sector EG. Which we're gonna need uh, later. After we get away to get off of this heap of rock. Well, that's uh, all we can do uh, here. Now we're gonna need some more money. At the moment we have um, 34 buckazoids. That's um, the 33 we had before, plus 5, uh, minus 4 for the two extra drinks we bought. But we're gonna need to buy a droid and a ship, actually, so um, we're gonna need a lot more money, and the way to do that is to use the slots o death machine. However, that is something that can uh, end badly. Um, slots o death. Because if you get three skulls, you die. Well, let's uh, try our luck, shall we? I'm just gonna bet three. Makes the thing go a little bit quicker. Uh-oh. Phew. We didn't win anything. We didn't die either. Nothing again. Uh oh. Uh oh. More uh oh. You lose, homeboy. Zap. Well, at the very least, I would guess that this would stop people from gambling. You know, because they're dead. And we get dumped on the back of the uh, bar. Lux Turnus costs you dearly. As your dust particles gradu gradually drift across Corona's barren landscape, you reflect upon the irony of your fate. Many was the time you swept and dumped piles of dust very similar to your current state. 
Interesting how Roger is still able to uh, reflect on stuff despite being turned to dust. Well, we need a way to cheat this thing and we can do that using this uh, magnetic thingamajig we got off the star generator pedestal in the Arcada. Not entirely sure if it is, if it is even possible to um, just use the save and load method to beat this thing or if you never win anything at all. In, I think in the original uh, version of the game you actually had to uh, you save and load because there was no magnetic thingamajig. So let's just bet three, and the this thing will make sure that we won't die, but it will also make sure that we'll also get uh, always get money, varying amounts. Now we won 15. That's actually the uh, lowest possible amount in a combination of three the same. The best is three um, of the ships, uh, which is what we're going to get now. And that gets you 60 Bacazoids. We need to keep going um, until we can't keep going any longer, which will make itself pretty obvious. I think it's something like 300 Bacazoids that you have to get. Well, if we keep getting the ships, that's not going to take very long. I think these are 30 Bacazoids. Yep. There's definitely no sense in betting less than 3 because you know you're always gonna win something that increases your winnings. So we're gonna get 30 again. I guess this is a little bit nicer uh, in this version. At least you don't have to. Uh, try your luck and hope you get money and then restore if you don't and much like the poker game in uh, Police Quest, only less fun but with this cheating thingy we can just breeze on through sort of pointless that they still make you do it, I mean at this point there's not really any uh, anything you can have uh, effect here. There's uh, no influence you have on the outcome. You just need to keep doing it until you have enough money. Come on, give me some ships. It goes a little bit quicker then. Okay, all well, galaxies will do. 277. I think we're pretty close to our goal. Ah, that should do it, I think, if I remember the 300 bucks I was right. Ah, there we go. You step back nervously as the overheated slot machine begins to sputter and smoke. Oops. Wow, I guess you overheated the poor thing. Well, slots of death, this time you die. Haha, <laughs> or do you think of that, eh? Alright, well that's all we can do uh, here in the bar. Now we've got uh, the money we'll need for the remainder of our uh, exploits here. 334 Bacazoids. Um, I'm actually gonna go out of the bar and back in, because you can get different music uh, options depending on uh, what the game fancies when you go inside. Let's see if we can get some of the others. So you can hear what those sound like. No. Come on. Work with me here. Ah, there we go. This is supposed to be uh, Madonna. On stage, a strangely attired woman performs her act, if that's what you want to call it. You haven't had a girlfriend for a long time, more like forever, but even that's not enough to make her attractive. Poor Roger is going to wait a have to wait a long time before he actually gets a girlfriend. Space Quest 5! She doesn't have the time to talk to you. 
you'd love to, but those spikes look deadly. I'm guessing he's talking about her heels or something. Her taste in clothes is almost as bad as her taste in music. Ha ha ha. What a nice pun. There is one more. If memory serves. Let's see if we can get it. Yes, there we go. It's the Blues Brothers, who are also in the original game, I think. And they're, they're blue. Get it? Blues Brothers? And they're blue? Oh man, these game designers are so funny. There are a couple of non-galactic looking humanoids cranking out some unfamiliar sounding tunes. They seem solely interested in the music they're performing. Don't they ever wash those suits? They may look like a couple of geeks, but they have good taste in music. Oh well, we'll uh, continue in the uh, next video. We'll see if we can get off this rock.